Coming in a little under 6,000 pounds as equipped with a convertible dinette in this slide out, plus double over double bunks and a hidden pantry. Folks, this is the 2022 Coleman Lantern 242BH. So in the beautiful 242, one of the things you will notice is despite having big double over double bunks and the big slide out, you also have a good size kitchen. Uh, I kind of like this setup for a couple different reasons. One, it's easy access to the sink here. I have a little bit of storage on the left side, right? A little bit of prep space, got a little bit on the right, especially with the glass cover on there, plus a ton right back here which is also a perfect spot for a coffee maker. And if you know me, you know that I have to have my caffeine in the morning or else the kids are feeling my rage. No, I'm just kidding. But I do like having coffee in the morning. Uh, so, you know, that again, I like that there is space for it. Um, I also like the sink here. I think they did a great job. I really like the color. It's kind of like that, almost like a black stainless, right? A little bit darker. I think it, it does a good job of kind of giving you the contrast between the light and the dark with the lighter countertops, uh, especially having upgraded countertops, right? It's better than T-mold. You'll notice there's no T-mold popping off right here, which if you owned an old, older travel trailer, you're way too familiar with, especially by a sink. You get a bunch of water in there. Your countertop rots out. Never a good time. You don't have to worry about it here. It also allows you to undermount the sink, which I love because after you're done prepping, you know, you're cutting up some bread for some bread and a little bit of uh, oil and seasonings. Got your dips. You can take all those crumbs, sweep them right into the sink, and then you don't have that crusty dirt line where your uh, top mounted sink is. So again, great job on some of the features they put in here. Uh, over to the side, as I mentioned, is that three burner cooktop with the glass cover. The knobs do light up if you're into uh, that look, and you'll see you have the oven underneath, so uh, if you need to do some baking, you have the capability to do that. Underneath this sink, you'll notice there is enough space for a smaller trash can, nothing too big, but uh, you know, you can probably fit um, I have one in my laundry room, right? It's kind of long and skinny about this big, but you can slide one in there, which is kind of nice. And then over to this side, you have not one, but two full extension ball bearing drawers, which I always say in order to make a functional kitchen in RV, you have to have at least one. The second one is certainly an added bonus and makes it that much more functional. Storage all the way across the top. You'll notice the decorative glass there too. Uh, the storage does continue to the back corner. Now, it is a little bit tough to get there because you have the panel, so you're kind of doing a reach here. Um, but just know that there is space back there for some of those items that you may not have to get to all that often, but you still want on hand. You'll see your microwave here, plus a hood, beautiful backsplash. I love what they have done here. Uh, again, I just think it's a really good look. And you have that large window going all the way across the kitchen there, uh, or the, the back wall here of the kitchen to really let in some of that light. Now, right over next to that is the entertainment center. So you'll see there's a spot for your TV right here, beautiful accent wall, your hookups, multimedia center. And you'll notice right up front, you do have the HDMI as well as USB plugs on there, plus a beautiful fireplace. And folks, this not only is an electric space heater, which will help take the chill off in this space, plus it's free heat if you have uh, shore power, right? If you're not paying for electricity at the campground, it's free heat, why not? Uh, but also it looks nice. You know, I just like the way it looks. You're sitting there, chilling, turn it on, it's a good look. But I mentioned the very beginning, some hidden storage. <gasps> ka -chow! Take a look at that. Big pantry right here. And it, it really is a ton of storage. Um, you know, my, my good friend Chris Young, this is where he's hiding the good cookies, if you ask him. Probably the good bourbon as well. Hanging out right in there. But, uh, you know, again, I do, I do just love how it's kind of tucked away. And it's not uh, really evident, you know, at a quick, uh, quick look. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. Then coming around to the side, of course, your entry door, you'll see right up here is the main control panel with your slide control, your lights, tank monitoring panel, and of course the power awning. In the very back are your double over double bunks ladder so you can climb up into the top bunk a little bit easier. And there is storage underneath this bottom bunk. You just lift this guy up just like so. And you can see that there is some added storage there. And that is enough space if you have, uh, you know, like a, a circular laundry basket or something like that for dirty clothes. You wanna throw some duffel bags in there. You can do that too. And then coming in the very back, of course, is the bathroom. Let me take a seat on here. And I'm going to be honest, this, this is a little tight. Um, you know, it's, it's not a place where I'm going to sit here and read a novel. Um, but you know, if I have to do my business, it, it will do the trick. But my, my toes and my knees are definitely uh, a little bit crammed. And, and again, I'm about six foot tall. So if you're much taller than that, 
you might have to sit on the toilet Indian style or something. I'm not sure, but um, but you know it, it is uh, again a little bit a uh, little bit cramped here. You can see also a countertop, you know, kind of extends out. Um, I I do like that extra space here, electrical outlet there underneath the sink. You have uh, a little bit of uh, additional storage, which I like. And right up top is your medicine cabinet with storage in that. Plus, you can see, um, you know, your robe hook there for hanging up any towels, robes, really whatever else. Now, if we take a step in the shower, again, I'm about six foot tall. You can probably be six one, still stand underneath here. Uh, you have the vent fan right up above the shower, hand wand. You know, you can, you can do what you need to do. If I turn sideways, I'll probably be fighting with the curtain a little, but if I stand like this, I can take the hand wand, wash off, and do all of my business. Now, stepping back out, come back out into the main living space. You will see your thermostat located here, and that will be for both your ducted AC as well as your heat ducts. Uh, all the heat ducts are located in the floor, which is nice because they can kind of dictate where they want to put them for optimal heating. Plus, they're out of a, a lot of your high traffic areas. You know, you can see right up here, right? It's kind of tucked uh, up against the countertop, so, uh, or up, up against the drawers and stuff there, again, kind of out of the way. Uh, you also see the Blade AC system, which is a great system. Uh, they share this with Keystone, and uh, essentially what it is, is it is a the way they use the ductwork and everything up top, plus with these vents, these are 360, they're not uh, directional, so that way you get even cooling all the way throughout the uh, camper. Plus, when they did a, uh, a decibel test, they found it was about 30 to 35% quieter than your standard AC, which is always a plus. Now, the dinette is special in this one because this is a convertible dinette. And no, I don't mean that you can convert it into a bed because a lot of dinettes can do that, right? Pretty much everyone out there. And yes, you can drop this down into a bed. And it makes a very large bed where two adults can sleep, which is awesome. But also with that, you get to choose if you want a U-shaped dinette like it is right now. Or I can remove these two back cushions. This, co or this part right here comes out. I can turn the table and now I have a standard dinette. So you have a couple options with what you want to do. Uh, more often than not, I think I would probably leave it in, in a U-shaped dinette, but just having that versatility can, uh, can be a pretty cool thing. You also notice the window there, right? Let in some natural light, couple LED lights up top, and also sharing the slide out is your refrigerator. Huh, helps if I open it the right way. Opens over here. <laughs> Um, but this one is your Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. Cool thing about 12 volt is this just runs off your batteries. Uh, so if you have some solar and you have two batteries, you can run this thing almost indefinitely because you know your batteries are going to hold all that power. The solar is just going to bring it in every day. Make sure those batteries stay topped off and you'll be good to go. When we come up into the bedroom, you'll see a big entrance in here, which I like. Uh, you know, I hate when they give me a door this size and I have to like shimmy into the bedroom. Not the case here. If I want to, I can, you know, carry my, my wife in here. I, I wouldn't, but I could, right? I have enough space for it. Um, but then when we come into the bedroom itself, you have the, uh, the RV queen right here. So it's a, a 60 by 74. And then on both sides of the bed are your nightstands with drawers, electrical outlets on both sides here. Also, you have enough space at the bottom of the bed and the side to be able to get all the way around. Even me, even me with my big butt, I can still squeeze on through here. You'll see your wardrobes on both sides of the bed, plus a shelf going across the top. And lastly, on that wall is your TV hookup. So if you want TV in the bedroom, boom, that's where it goes. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2022 Coleman Lantern 242 BH. Right up front is the power tongue jack, and this makes it much easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle because all I have to do is flip a switch rather than uh, rock a crank, right? And also, it makes it easier to level the RV from front to back, again, for the same reason. This one is the Bastion tongue jack. Uh, you'll notice it does have a light up front plus manual override in the rare event it fails. Behind that are two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover and rails there for your battery. As I mentioned, I personally recommend getting a second battery just because with that, and as I mentioned, the solar, it'll definitely help uh, your runtime of your refrigerator, assuming that you are not uh, parked at a campsite where you have shore power. Coming around to the side is the pass-through. Nice, big pass-through on there. You gotta love that. You can see, uh, you know, again, all the space that you have in there. A pretty wide door here as well. So if you have like grills, some of those larger items, a little bit bigger chairs, a lot of times you can fit them in there. 
A large power awning goes basically from the front here, goes all the way back, covers up your entrance, which I like. Uh, but this one, you know, again, it is 12 volt. And you have the LED light strip. Neat thing about that is it doesn't matter on this awning if your uh, awning is completely retracted like it is now or partially extended, fully extended, doesn't matter. You can still use the uh, LED lights because of the way they're hooked up. You will also see that you have dun -dun -dun -dun, power stabilizer jacks right here in the front plus in the back. <laughs> When I said power, it made me think of uh, Captain Planet for some reason, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but you have power stabilizer jacks right here in the front and in the back. Just flip the uh, switch to extend and retract those. Please bear in mind, folks, those are not leveling jacks, right? Those are just for stabilization. Um, if you try to use them to level the trailer, start lifting the trailer off the ground and things, you are going to bend them. You don't want to do that, but they are great for stabilizing it. So when you're walking around inside, it's not rocking on you. Um, and again, having the power ones does make setup and teardown of camp much quicker. If you're going boondocking and need to fill your fresh water tank, this is where you will fill it. One of the cool things about the Coleman Lantern line is uh, just about every Coleman Lantern has a 60 gallon fresh water tank, which is a big fresh water tank. Uh, a lot larger than a lot of them in this class, so you can definitely rest easy knowing that. You'll also see you have electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in out here. Uh, you have the upgraded steps, right? Nice and solid. You'll see the aluminum treads on there plus the grip tape. So that way you have some uh, good traction when you're entering and exiting the RV. Plus, because they're aluminum, these aren't going to rust on you. Making your way to the back is the outside kitchen. It's one of the great things about having a bunk model, folks. A lot of times you have the pleasure of having this, uh, which I like from a couple different standpoints. One is the fact you have an outside refrigerator, very easily accessible for beverages. You get a little bit of storage out here, plus an electrical outlet right up top in case you need to plug anything in there and a two burner cooktop here. Now this of course will be plugged into your propane quick connect which is right down there. Meaning that if you have anything else you want to use like a Blackstone or something like that you can set that here and plug it in and you'll be good to go with that as well. This will be your control for your rear two stabilizer jacks as that front one will only operate the front two. And then right here in the back is your square tubular bumper with an end cap giving you a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. Right up top in the center is backup camera prep. So if you want that backup camera, having the prep does make it easier to install. And when we come around to the off camp side, you'll notice this one comes the black tank flush, just super convenient to wash out the black tank. So you don't have to stick a hose down the toilet or anything like that. You also see your 30 amp power supply is built in. So you can just pull it out, plug it into the post and you'll be good to go. You'll see one of your terminations will be located right there. You'll notice both the black and gray tank valves and the uh, handles there are properly colored. Your second termination on this one will be located right here and you will see that that is for your gray tank. And so just make sure that uh, you know you remember that you do have uh, two separate gray tank terminations on here. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this right here is the 2022 Coleman Lantern 242BH. If you're interested in this wonderful family travel trailer to start getting out there and making memories and you would like price and availability nearest to you, then simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.